Hi and welcome to the session. I am Kanika and I am going to help you to solve the following question. The question says solve the following inequality graphically in two dimensional plane. 2x minus 3y is greater than 6. Before solving this question we should know that a line divides the Cartesian plane into two half planes and the graph of inequality will be one of the half planes. And we shall show the solution by shading in the corresponding half plane. We shall follow the following rules to identify the half plane represented by an inequality. According to the first rule, we have to take any point AB not on the line and then we have to check whether it satisfies the inequality or not. If the point satisfies the inequality, then the inequality represents that particular half plane containing the point. But if the point does not satisfy the inequality, then the other half plane represents the solution. According to the second rule, if sign of equality is also there with the inequality, then the line is included in the solution region and so we draw a dark line in the solution region. And according to the third rule, if we have a pure inequality, then the points on the corresponding line are not to be included in the solution region and so we draw a dotted line. With the help of these three rules, we will solve this question, so always remember these rules. Now, begin with the solution. Given inequality is 2x minus 3y is greater than 6. Now, converting this inequality into equation, we get 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. Now, we have to plot the graph of this equation. For plotting the graph, we need at least two solutions of this equation. So, let's first find the two solutions of this equation. If x is equal to 0, then y is equal to minus 2. And if y is equal to 0, then x is equal to 3. So the two solutions of this equation are 0 minus 2 and 3, 0. Now we will plot these two points on the graph. So let's make a graph now. The two points which we have to plot are 0 minus 2 and 3, 0. Now the first point is 0 minus 2. This means when epsisa is 0 then ordinate is minus 2. So this is the required point 0 minus 2 and the second point is 3, 0. This means when ordinate is 0 then epsisa is 3. So this is the required point 3, 0. According to the third rule we know that if we have a pure inequality, then the points of the corresponding line are not included in the solution region. And so we draw a dotted line. Now in this question, we have 2x minus 3y is greater than 6. We have a strict inequality there. That means we will join these two points by a dotted line. And this line will not be included in the solution region. So let's now join these two points by a dotted line. This line is representing the equation 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. And this line divides the plane into two half planes that is 1 and 2. Now we have to identify the half plane represented by the given inequality. According to the first rule, we have to select a point which does not lie on the line and then we have to check whether this point satisfies the given inequality or not. If this point satisfies the given inequality, then the inequality represents that particular half plane containing the point. But if the point does not satisfy the inequality, then the other half plane represents the solution. Now in this question, as the point 0, 0 does not lie on this line, so we can take the point as 0, 0. Now substitute x as 0 and y as 0 in the given inequality. By substituting we get 0 greater than 6, which is not true. Hence, 
the half plane not containing zero zero represents the inequality two x minus three y greater than six and is the solution region. Now let's look at the graph. Now the second half plane does not contain the point zero zero and as we have strict inequality so this means this line will not be included in the solution region. So this means the solution region of the given inequality consists of second half plane excluding this line. So let's now shade this region. This is the required solution region. So the shaded half plane excluding the line is the required graphical solution. So this is our required answer. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.